Hello everybody and welcome to Cooper Studios. Thank you for watching. I'm Alex and today is not so much a building tutorial. Today I'm going to talk to you about cleaning your bricks and maintaining them, taking care of them as evidenced behind me. This is the Skull's Eye Schooner and this one I was able to finally buy off a friend for uh, uh, after years of seeing it sit in his living room in the corner just sitting there collecting dust and that's fine and I told him I'd take care of it and today uh, I'm going to show you and everybody how we take care of it. So what we need to do is clean it. Now um, there are lots of different ways to go about it but this is in such bad condition that I can't just take an air can and spray off the thing or a Swiffer or whatever. We really need to wash it. So I'm going to completely take it apart and then I'm going to show you what we do with the bricks. Alright, so I'm still taking the string off. Super extra careful that I don't rip this last sail. Oh, there's so much dust. It's gross. Okay, there it is. Look how nasty and grimy it is on the bottom. But okay, put that aside. Classic pirates and rock raiders are my two favorite themes. So taking care of this set is like a... Um, it's important to me because, you know, it's an original and all the pieces are original. It has the minifigures. I've already cleaned and taken off the minifigures before. Now comes the sad, fun part. I'm going to have to take it completely all apart, individually, piece by piece, and um, separate it out. Okay, let's start with the front here. Oh. oh wow, some of the pieces underneath are very clean. Oh, I almost forgot about the, uh, the string for the anchor. And look at this. You can really see how dirty it was. This is all the grime, this is all the dirt, and these are the pieces that other pieces were on top of so they're clean. Shows you how nasty it is. And all this has to come apart individually, otherwise I won't be able to clean some of the finer pieces. I'm going to have fun putting this back together. It's actually going to be an interesting uh, process. I want to make sure I get even the small individual thin bricks because once I wash them here, if I miss a piece and it comes out and it's not clean, I'm going to be really frustrated because I want to get it all done in one go. Now, I wish I had the box with the old school clamshell packaging that they used to put it in. They don't do that very much anymore, if at all. There's all the little, the little swords and pirate. Oh, is there gold? Yeah, there's gold in the treasure chest. I love the detail and these green flaps were a nice touch. The green, gray, black, and red color scheme. So this pirate really says it all about how dirty the set was. Uh, as you can see, he's just covered with grime. I can barely see the print on his shirt. But we're going to fix him and he's going to be really happy. The cannons, the cannons are great. They're, 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 they're non-shooty cannons. These are the old school cannons. You know, if I saw this at a tag sale, even in a pile of bricks just like this, I would buy it. I remember a time when I was a young kid, I met a woman who, she was a very old lady, and she had a box of Lego bricks from the attic, and it was full of miscellaneous pieces and definitely had some classic space in it. And at the time, I did, was not as into Lego as I am now, or into brick building, or even animation. I was in middle school, and so when I saw the the pile of bricks, I said, nah, I didn't really want it. And I think she only wanted $100 for the entire box. And it was a massive chest. And I regret, I'm kicking myself today because there were probably some really good pieces. But that's what happens, you know. It all comes back because I've gotten really great deals at other tag sales in the meantime. Oh, there's a spider web on the bottom of one of them. Ugh. All right, so now that's all left, all, whoops. All that's left is the cabin. And it's really nasty. Let's see if we can take a look inside. Oh cool, the door's actually open on the side so you can peek in. Look at that. And I think that there's a steering mechanism here for the uh, for the ship, although I'm not 100% sure. It did something in here. There's some sort of mechanism. When I put it back together, I'll discover that. It'll be fun. Um, yep. I like the skull and crossbones brick in the back. It looks like a printed element. You don't see that very often. Here's another great example of just how dirty it was. That's totally clean. 
That is dirty. Wow. Actually, I'd like to hear uh, if you have unique stories about where you found Lego or any kind of bricks or cool toys. Maybe you have a good story. Uh, let me know in the comments because you know those are the coolest stories. I, I, I travel around to different um, tag sales and garage sales and when you meet a lot of people and you talk about this stuff and I always ask them this is the kind of stuff I'm looking for, they end up telling me unique stories about where they found them, a lot of stuff about maybe they got them from the grandmother or something, you know, that, those kind of stories are are interesting. Oh, so the rudder, oh I see what it did. So the mechanism in this ship that makes the rudder move is there's a there's a beam, I think it's this beam, that, that hangs down from the steering wheel. And when you turn the wheel, the rudder will turn left and right. That's cool. Oh, and look, there's all these uh, uh, unique pirate stuff that was uh, found at the bottom. Cool. So here's the final pile of bricks that I need to clean, and there's the sails. Now the sails I'll deal with later, but the bricks need to be washed. Now what I'm going to do is put them in a pillowcase, and this pillowcase is going to go in the washing machine on a cold setting with a little bit of detergent and um, it's going to be uh, on a small load. And that's how I'm going to wash these things and the washing machine should take care of it. Okay, so I've got the pile of bricks in the, uh, in the pillowcase. There they are, they're on side. And what I've got to do is tie it off real tight. It's completely tied off so that none of the small elements get out inside the washing machine. There it is. Perfect. So uh, some, of, some of the dirt and dust and stuff is still on some of the parts, but for the most part, it worked. Excellent. Look at that. Look what the washing, to, washing machine did. It pressed these all together on, in random. I think that's really interesting. Everything looks good. All of the printed pieces are still fine. And now we just have to let it dry. And then I have to clean it uh, in detail a little bit. But for the most part, they're all clean. Uh -huh. Cooper Studios. Mm -hmm.